like every character wanted to be a very core part in the kurukshetra cool shit right this lazy writing it ఈగల్స్టీ <laughs> the dialogues <laughs> they stuck out like a sore thumb i mean the movie was okay like it did it did what it supposed to do wo kar diya movie ne wohi jo dikhaya tha trailer mein wohi hua but then the dialogues the less i speak the better what is your opinion if a person who is not a telugu speaking watches the movie in subs he wouldn't get the depth of the dialogues that were written so do you think the person who doesn't know telugu would enjoy it as much as you did or would the experience differ yeah yep. if i wasn't a native telugu speaker then i would have enjoyed it because the subs dialed it down like dialed the intensity of the dialogues a bit down and that could have been a better watch because the, the dialogues at some point felt quite comical like every character uh, on the screen just came on and preached about the character like so he was trying to write mahabharata character somewhere it felt like that like every character wanted to be a very core filling up core part in the kurukshetra they sounded like that yeah even i agree with that no in a, in a good way what what else uh, stayed in your mind that sequence the third act five sequence the action sequence the action sequence actually yeah isme wo different kinds of artillery ka the ki kaun se guns kahan chupe hue and not to spoil it but then wo kali mata ka murti wala you just need spoil it <laughs> just sharing my opinion to share, opinion share karne ke liye you need to talk about it hmm, that so, reveal was quite good actually i mean it felt new so you know if i went back like i if i have a good recollection of the film so the things that stayed in my mind were the way kartik katyamani disguised the guns in his films so there were two instances where one was ki wo fence ke andar guns chupata hai wo that was very uncalled for achanak se aaya ho the only only problem was ki he hit the guns really well very ingenious in his plan but what happened was the output of the guns Can where it was hitting what? the people it was hitting the way it was that felt a little bit icky like if if you had managed to do that part a little well so your film would have been much better but given the budget constraints so he did the best with whatever he could How i felt that reveal to the amateurish tha kaafi the reveal wasn't amateurish the way after the reveal the guns fired and so, uh, hit the people and also in the climax that tamil guy who was also a villain in hanuman mm-hmm. i don't remember his yeah, name yeah, really. his conflict was very weak like why did he bring him and ask him to kill aur jab usne bola ki yeah please kill me uh, i'm ready to be on the receiving end of the gun then he starts retaliating ki uh, i'm not dying today or something like that he's like he'll hit him so kya tha mere ko nahi samjha ki wo conflict इतना अजीब क्यों था उधर मतलब बहुत एम्बिगुएस था एंड आफ्टर दैट ही इज सैक्रीफाइसिंग हिज डॉटर टू हिम मेकिंग हर ग्रो सींग हिज पिक्चर्स बड़ा ही कंफ्यूज था वो एंड वाला पार्ट लाइक अप टिल दैट पॉइंट एवरीथिंग वाज क्लीशेड बट इट वाज क्लियर कि क्या हो रहा है बट व्हेन दैट पॉइंट अराइज सो आई गॉट वेरी कन्फ्यूज कि ऐसा क्यों किया आई थिंक वो हीरो का वो सिंपथेटिक नेचर दिखाने के लिए एक प्लॉट डिवाइस था आई थिंक even i agree uska character introduce q hua why was he there like why was he present in the movie agar usko nikal bhi de then it would have made sense even if we have removed it yeah yeah oh, yeah wo hero is like a kind hearted guy wo dikhane ke liye plot device tha vinay rai uska naam <laughs> barabar atak jate na good portrayal of telugu hero ka so that happens but let's go from the top let's go from the start mm-hmm. so i'll start with the movie ka this elevation is saying the hero is such a great guy he is so strong he is on top of the hill where no one is allowed to go there there has been a certain uh, event that has occurred there because of which people are scared and this journalist comes in 
to inquire about the box art on the hill and everything so the build up towards the character didn't feel justified compared to what the character was doing and then we when we were introduced to the character the concept was good of his mansion helping the people from tribal castes and everything and his mansion is protected like no one can enter in outsider no political propaganda can enter his mansion uh, inside the mansion every everyone is equal uh, and those things were good those things made him like a what do you say a jaded uh, gangster or something who is now reforming so that angle i liked even up till that point i didn't have a problem with navdeep's character who was just aiding the hero and uh, af- after that once we got back into the flashback like i got a prediction in the interval only ki what will happen there will be an angle wherein the person he loves would have died and he would be completing her golia dream and it was the same thing and end ka fight was not very interesting for me but the way the guns reveal happen and a few action sequences of camera work in that that interested me so that's how that was my perception towards the film so what i liked was uh, the way he dropped all like foreshadowing of those guns he was making mm. that tire like he was fixing while talking to that mla yeah. the the hand machine he was trying to fix while talking to the spy ha barabar the spy so those sprinkling of like foreshadowing of what's about to happen that's kind of new to the telugu cinema it started from i think maybe bahubali to some extent but then like it got traction right uh, after uh, KGF yeah KGF I think yeah so that was good and the metaphor also like the king on the hill like met, uh, mm-hmm. metaphor ma- matching with indian mm-hmm. god venkateshwar on tirupati ah. yeah so that was also that was that a real reference yeah you're yeah, reading, yeah. Ah. reading too much into it no 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 that's the real reference actually uh, like he is the king of the hill ah. and protects the people around the hill of the on the hill so these were the only takeaways from first half yeah second half was quite lethargic to be honest like it it should have been cut down at least 20 to 25 minutes and that vinay rai's character should have been removed and it would have made much more sense and the love angle also i think i think he should have gone with the myth around the character he should have delved into it more rather than just adding a female character to as a plot device to run the story ahead and also yeah now this character was very very annoying <laughs> <laughs> like bro was ready to do anything so and yeah wait ravi teja did a mahesh babu as a towards the end guns ante kalchadave kaadu guns kaapadtai kuda so the literal translation is so guns are un- are not only used for firing they are also used for safety huh. so towards the end the message was so, so that was unnecessary i felt your point was right about that myth creating a myth in fiction i really respect the writers who work on speculative work saying ki he might be a person who had killed innocent people and then that must have brought a change in him like ashoka ashoka complex must have happened another theory must be like he he has always been a good guy and he has been continuing it and there there might have been a lot of myths around him but then none of that have been confirmed by anyone because everyone has a different opinion of him so that speculative kind of work really peaks interest and there have been very few in telugu cinema so that way it have made the character a little more uh, multi dimensional also interesting in that way also the thing with the whole movie was we saw the character from different different people right alag alag logo ka story se hum log ne dekha tha right so he should have added something like waha pe na uh is ka perspective of that character is different a little bit different ah. and this kid who did the whole pubg narration yep. around the action sequences he could have he's a kid right mm. and uske dimag mein obviously he, the guy is a god mm. so that felt quite natural but then the people surrounding the area like surrounding his hmm. uh, hill could have told the story a, a little bit differently like they could have added something a negative aspect to the character and that would have made much more impact i think because then 
then the viewer also gets quite perplexed right what should i believe like is he a good character is he a bad character so wo ambiguity rehta na to aur it will add depth to the character and wo action movie mein wo out and out action dekhe fir then feels natural cuz i have heard a certain bad thing about him he is ruthless so ye fight sequence ye action sequence aise hi honge so that would have made much more sense rather than using this feel much, much more sense and also would have made the audience think a little bit yeah so, so that's the problem with the telugu current telugu cinema like new age telugu cinema they don't let the audience think much they provide everything you're saying yeah spoon fed ho jata sare matlab most of the info is spoon fed even literally on the screen as well like coming to salar every destination was name dropped on screen like, mm-hmm. yeah. so that was quite a bit annoying so coming back to the speculative work of fiction you're saying it would have made the audience think which was a really good thing that they missed that point even i was expecting that the second half would revolve around which theory is the right one but, but what happened was everyone's narrative was towards making him a uh, what you say a uh, ruthless uh, powerful person who stays on the hill and who is managing covert operations regarding arms deals and everything and also the end felt a little bit like vikram where he wages a war against drugs yeah, that this guy sense. is waging a war against arms illegal uh, trade okay. of arms yeah that i felt also a big problem was with teasing the further installations in the movie series we'll i have a big problem with that yeah we'll talk about it later i mean it's just a cash grab now like producers hi kar rahe hai ye aur kuch nahi makes no sense ye discuss karna ek spoiler ho jayega kafi we'll we should, we should rather discuss it later i feel so we uh, towards the end the character dies right hmm. that's how the movie ends should end but it doesn't it goes on and on and on and the credits starts rolling but still the story goes on and on that's what the problem like currently every mid budgeted movie or big budgeted movie is acting or becoming a cash grab for the producers and nothing more was it spoils the whole suspense per se or like suspense or the myth i'd say the character died stop it stop the movie right there and then do whatever you want to do in the next part right don't spoil it in the first part saying there's there's more to come the anticipation for the second part just dies down then and there so that's my problem with all the current part 1 part 2 obsession movies ye ye trend ban gaya na ek point ke baad universes and multiple series films after bau in india after bahubali so uh, they have started creating uh, series of films and after uh, loki cinematic universe they are starting in universes so everyone wants to make a, a world around their film that is one of the big demerits of the films that have been going on now so they lose the charm of the solo film so first people can't even enjoy your solo film to go watch your next film you you're not even making a what you say the best Best film in your attempt that you're getting. You're just looking forward to the next film that I would make in that series. So you're making the first film according to that. So that would ruin, kind of ruin your film in that process, and that really harms the industry and the films that are being made because everyone is thinking in that direction only. It's not wrong to think of a huge vision and think the project is big and we'll divide the project in this way. But then these are few things look like they those were last minute. additions to the film and this those are quite evident and those ruin the after taste when you come out of the theater saying ki what might have come in their mind that they took this decision where the film didn't even need it i felt it that way it left a very bad taste after i left the theater wo ek joke yaad aaya tha mujhe मेक्सिकन कार्टेल ट्रक लोड का नाम जोक नहीं था वो गैग गैग उसका नाम ट्रक लोड का नाम बॉब पैसकल उसके बेटे का नाम पेड्रो पैसकल उसके बेटी ने उसके डैड का नाम पेड्रो पैसकल बताया हाँ गया नहीं उसके डैड का नाम बेटे को बेटे को ये मारता है दिस गैंगस्टर नो नो राइट राइट आई वाज राइट आई वाज राइट हैं डैड वाज बॉब एंड दैट गाइ टॉक्स अबाउट ईगल किल्ड बॉब पैसकल देन द दैट गाइ हु इज टेलिंग द रॉस पाय अबाउट ईगल ईगल गलत बोल रहा है तू उल्टा बोल रहा है वो जो गैंगस्टर आया था ना जिसको उठा के लाए थे 
when he has who eagle was he comes down to the dungeon uh, and he says ki uh, I have killed uh, Asra Srinivas says I have killed Bob I have caught Bob Pascal so he asks you know who his dad is so he is Pedro Pascal Eagle killed him but how, but how, the, how how did the team go ahead with it without having a second thought ski i mean it's funny i think <laughs> karthik is a smart dude like we have heard we have, ha, ha, uh, ha. we have listened to him like we have heard his, him on the podcast many podcast and interviews right mm. i think he's aware of that joke and he is well versed with the uh, like western media like selesh konalu was aware of the gunshot scene <laughs> <laughs> we should not talk about that. I'm very disappointed about that. <laughs> and there's another like gag also. Like Srinivas Avsarala's character, the Ross Pyle. He gets called by his head from uh, Europe. Uh-huh. And they talk about <laughs> chia seeds. <laughs> She just called him from Europe to go back to Europe. <laughs> and there was such a blatant exposition. Ki, I have built a network in Europe about people. And like... Oh, that, that's just oh, lazy writing. Yeah. Uh, we 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 could have understood it with a scene and also you could have just there was no need to buy him tickets and bring him to india and then send him back to europe or or she could have done that like when the character is about to enter the spy uh, like headquarters uh-huh. he is on the call talking to that european mafia guys yeah we'll do that we'll do this and then that could have like a 15 seconds of two dialogues or three dialogues right there then that would have set the scene but he just greets the head <laughs> by saying i have built a network in european underground mafia that's bullshit man it's just lazy writing right there so one one very uh, interesting thing that was written into the story was assassin a sniper he is uh, conversing with the lady romantic interest <laughs> by using uh, the <laughs> sniper bullets and later on navdeep ha- hands him the fake gun which the range shouldn't be that long It logically be that way. taken creative liberty the idea was interesting a person who knows only uh, shooting his his words are uh, done using the bullets like he is conversing or he is emoting or helping her using the sniper rifle which was a very interesting thought but done Al- i wouldn't even hold words done terribly and it went terribly wrong <laughs> it it could have been handled much uh, better and it was a very interesting and crazy idea that could have worked in his favor similar to how he had used the guns and that kid <laughs> ha huh, so just just to create a conflict uh, around winner ah uh, he was supposed to kill him in the story and then he forgets and so for such a professional like i understand your mind goes hazy and you lose direction you don't care about your job and you find the girl but you don't even talk about missing the mission's agenda and everything you just they don't address it yeah don't address they forget about it and achanak say they tell you ki ye uski beti hai ha <laughs> and uh, now he's holding a grudge against him and rest as we spoke as out that which which felt very contrived i was like why did you even try at that point like matlab you had a decent storyline without it and the funniest sequence throughout the movie this stuck out for me he fights with that guy vinay rai and mm. ali pratap he fights him and then goes on to preach him about how i am a Better nice guy <laughs> bro then why did you even fight why did you even let him get he says achhi kottu nan ha exactly i'm telling you he like, first accepts the fate ki ha ah, you might kill me today i'm ready to take the bullet and after a point he is punching him he is kicking him saying defeats the whole purpose of ah, the fight that's what confuses me i'm not i'm not sure what was the philosophy or ideology behind that scene why the whole second half is lazily written i think i mean they took the easy way out easily cop out jo ho gaya usse kar diya first draft hi hai lag raha second half ka and even lazily written post credits teasing the second part okay then those are just terrible wo koi youtuber actor ke edits bana tha na like flashy edits usko <laughs> bhage i think ये लोगों ने वो संक्रांति पोस्टपोन कर दिया था ना सो दे गॉट लाइक थ्री वीक्स आई थिंक दे जस्ट हेस्टिली आयर सम वन एंड डिड दैट होल फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड सेकंड पार्ट से I don't think so. There was a need of a second part. I I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. 
like how you are explaining if things happened that way i wouldn't be surprised now now that i'm think of it they got a bit scared that it isn't going to get that much attention so they tease that second part like right at the end very hastily with very badly edited montages so that like the word of mouth on the first day builds up like there's a second part coming oh wow but then i don't think so let's just finish this like coming to second parts <laughs> part twos of movie mm. we what do you think of malai kotte wale but part two is it going to <laughs> Is it going to see the light of day? <laughs>